the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Not your mouth. Somebody said, well, death and life is uh, part of the tongue. Death and life are the part of the tongue. So are you speaking life? Because if your tongue is speaking hate, hey, if your tongue is speaking killing somebody because they're different, <laughs> and you sit there and say, well, death and life are the power of the tongue. If you're speaking death towards somebody else, if you're speaking oppressing towards somebody else, if you're speaking bad things, good, bad will towards somebody else, you're speaking death. You're speaking where you're going. If that's what you want to do. You're too busy sitting there and picking these little small petty rules. Don't go to the club. Don't 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 wear certain clothes. Don't plait your hair. You know, you, you use those little small stupid stuff to try to hide the fact is that a tree is known by his fruit. And his fruit tells me who you are. Not your mouth. What's coming out of your mouth? The Bible says out of abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. What's coming out of your mouth? What's coming out of your mouth? This script is very important for you to, to really look at. I mean, come on, man. Look at this right here. Let's read it from the beginning and read all the way through. Not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter to the kingdom of heaven, but he that does it the will of my Father. Key principal important point is he that does the will of my father not the will of my body not the will of my flesh but the will of the father are you tracking are you did we just read the lord's prayer but not too long ago and to sit there and say thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven not your will not your political party's will you, he did not ask you to do evil or be evil. He did not tell you that. He didn't. So he said, not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter to the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father, which is in heaven. So that will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Is that what the Lord's prayer say? So if you sit there doing opposite of that, maybe there's going to be an issue on it. Because many of you sit there, I think it, 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 and it's just a tragedy of how many people are now in hell doing the will of their flesh doing the will of group mentality doing the will of you know from the lynching and the raping and all that other stuff the lying too and 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 they died in it and you and you exalted them into it doing it how many people he said verse 22 many will say to me in that day Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in that name? Meaning we, we prophesied to kick that, 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 that white man, prophesied to kick that black man. We prophesied to kick that Hispanic man. We prophesied to do all bad things to them. We kicked them out, Lord. We discriminate against them, Lord. We sit there and let them die, Lord. We sit there and beat them to heck, Lord. We sit there, we did a lot of things, Lord. Well, my parents did, and I endorsed them. I was silent about it. Yeah, Lord, we did. Didn't we do that? We, we did all the things. We prophesied in your name. We prophesied to kick that person out because they were different. We prophesied to put that person down because they were different. We prophesied to, to even talk about the, the, the not feeding the poor. Because we, we didn't want to give somebody that's going to go out for drugs and everything else. We, we just ignore them all the time. We prophesize bad things toward people. We put people down. We identify them as ungodly, but we fail to identify ourselves as ungodly as well. We, we have professed that it's okay for us to operate under grace and mercy, but it's not okay for everybody else. Yeah, we're going to heaven, Lord. We're going to heaven. He says right here, 
Many will prophesy. When it was said to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in that name? Have we not cast out devils? Didn't I, ca didn't I cast out those immigrants? Didn't I cast out those black people? Didn't I cast out those white people? Didn't I cast out, you know, I just cast out things, right? I just did it. I did it because I did it for you, Lord. I did evil. I, I did all those type of things for you, Lord. That's, that's what I did, right, Lord? You know, come on, Lord, I'm with you, with me, right? It was okay for me to do those things, right, Lord? Thanksgiving. Yeah, people sit there. And we this is what we talk about. We talk about the the, the, the Native Americans and, and, and the pilgrims sitting there having and rejoicing and celebrating, coming through the winter because they survived. They learned to live together to help each other survive. And then years later, those same people, those very same people massacred men, women, and children in their villages. And then had their own Thanksgiving. The ones, you know, the ones we don't talk about in history. And said, thank God for allowing us to kill those people that were different. Those people prophesized to do God's will. He said, many were saying that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in that name and that name cast out devils and that name done wonderful works. Many of you are sitting there thinking that doing those type of things is wonderful works. Many of you think that they're hating somebody, going after the ungodly, being ungodly, but going after the ungodly, that you're doing God's will. You know, we call one thing to do is preach the gospel, the good news. But we don't, somebody find it's, 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 no, it's okay to teach and preach bad news to people because they're different. They're different. So we, we don't hate, I hate those people, so we're going to do things bad. Come on, saints. The worst thing you don't want to have is this right here. You just heard them sit there and say they prophesied his name, cast out demons, done wonderful works, you know, works that, that please them. Whether you're black or white, it don't matter. Whether you're Hispanic, it don't matter. If you did bad things, evil, do corrupt fruit, that what matters. He gonna say, did I never, I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work is inequity. I never knew you. I don't know what you're talking about. I never knew you. I never knew you. Let's come off the script and slide for a second. I never knew you is what he's saying. I never knew you. You just sit there and, and, and beat somebody because they're different. You just sit there and kill somebody because they're different. I never knew you. You just sit there and have unforgiveness and I never knew you. You just sit there and discriminate against people because they're white or because they're black or whatever. I never knew you. You just sit there and kill somebody. You know, and one guy that uh, attacked Nancy Pelosi's uh, husband in his house, came, broke in his house and didn't attacked him with a hammer. He, you think he knew God? You think he knew Christ? Do you think he knew Christ? You to sit there and discriminate against somebody because they're different. You, you, you know Christ? Did Christ do that? There's a many of you that sit there and then trying to bring and take everybody else with you to hell doing the opposite of God's will toward your fellow man. If you don't understand the fact is that your fellow man is important to God, then while you sit there and somebody and convince a whole group of people that they're, they're, they're less than subhuman, so I can do anything. I, look, the bad thing about it to me is like, if you think somebody is subhuman, that means that their behavior is ungodly, but your behavior, because you are superior, Shouldn't you, your behavior be opposite of that? Or should your behavior be that let's go and shoot and hunt and kill all those people? They're savages, so now that gives me the right to, to, to do bad things to them, to hate them, to discriminate against them. And you think you're going to say, I knew God? You think Christ going to say, I knew you? He said, they're saying, that scripture said, I never knew you. 
how many of you, how many people have died already and gonna sit there and you, and, and you know, I don't think I'm pretty sure when you get, when you do confront God, the Bible says every man has a point in time to die in judgment. I don't think, I think most of you know when you do wrong toward people, regardless of the color of the skin, you know you're doing wrong. I know that you know that God knows that you're doing wrong. And you know that you really don't have a chance in hell to get to heaven. You know it. But you, you still want to do it anyway because you think it's, it's okay because your fellow man approved it. Well, your fellow man does not mean anything as far as eternal life. Y'all need to understand that. He said, I never knew you. Depart from me, you work of iniquity. Who wants to hear that? And we're going to close up with, let me see, I hope I got on the next slide right here. Because I, I, I'm tripping. Because I'm trying to figure out, this is the last slide here. And this is the last part of the session. He said to do his will. Do you line up with the will of God? And, and, if, and, and do you seek to line up with the will of God? And I'm telling you, said, as long as you understand that you don't. See, it's, to me, if you said that, don't, just stop trying to deceive yourself. One of my friends says it's called self-deception. Self don't deceive yourself. You, if you bring forth corrupt fruit, then you're not good. And you sit there, and there will be no justification for it. You're going to sit there and look in the eyes of God. Look at this script right here. First of all, 1 Timothy 2, 4 said, Who will have all men to be saved? That's his will. And to come unto the knowledge of the truth. That's his will. They come to the knowledge of the truth. I had a friend of mine one time a few years ago, maybe less than a year, he said there and said, I only want to hear the truth that I want to hear. How many men, there's people out there right now in the political party, in the political arena, that says, I only want to hear the truth I want to hear. There's people to sit there and sit there and recognize that uh, there was a lot, the, the election was stolen. I just want to hear that truth. Even though that's a lie. Even though it's called a big lie. You want to hear that. And therefore you would ignore the truth. You would ignore the facts so that, because it doesn't line up with your truth. And you sit there and say, well, I'm going to heaven, Lord, because I, I got the full knowledge of the lie. And I'm living by the full knowledge of the lie. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You know it. If it's you fit, put it on. And and, and just what maybe you just, just sit there and say, I have I have not eternal life. And just accept it. That's what you want to do. Because you're sitting there pleasing man instead of pleasing God. Just go ahead and accept it. You relieve yourself so that you can sit there and say, Well, I'm free for why I'm here while I'm alive, because when I take the dirt nap, I'm going to hell. I have eternal death waiting for me. That's what you. That's what you're trying to say. Just go ahead and just be that way. Stop sitting there, putting on the, these sheep clothing, and you are in reality you're just a wolf, evil, mean, and nasty. You don't care about the ungodly. You want to. You want to burn them. You want to hurt them. You want to oppress them. You want to do everything else to them because you you want to use corrupt fruit against them. Think about it. His will, First Timothy, see, it's not your will. A lot of you don't have that will. A lot of you got different wills, right? His will is if we have all men, all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. And so you're sitting there preaching the gospel, which is the truth, which is what you're called to do, the good news. You're preaching hate and division and, 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 and all those type of things. That means you're going to hell. Think about it for yourself. You, you can go to hell if you die in it. But you can repent and you won't go to hell. But if you want to live this and keep continuing to live through this, you are going to, because you chose, not because of people telling you, I'm not going to put you in hell. You're going to put yourself in hell. Because he said, do his will. You want to operate in his grace and mercy, then do his will. Seek to do his will. Look at this. John 14, 50 said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And yet that means keep his will. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? If you love me, you keep my commandments, meaning his will. 
He ain't got a problem with you going to the club, but he got a problem with you going against his will. His will be done. His will be done. We just read the scripture said that only those who do his will will go to heaven. His will. We ain't talking about you slipped up and 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 and, and, and did something. We ain't talking about you slipped up and curved. We ain't talking about you slipped up and if we talk about the fact that you made that life a lifestyle. And I'm talking about the lifestyle of hate and division, unforgiveness and jealousy and envy and strife. I'm talking about those things. We're too busy sitting there trying to go after the little minor things. And I don't care what a big you but I'm telling you that hate murder let's go ahead and look at the big rocks let's go look at them this is this let's talk about it. if you're not doing these things we, we, we track it but if you if you're doing those things opposite of what his will is you're not tracking it says right here because like i said we all did john 14 15 if you love me keep my commandments the religious people sit there and try to focus on the clothing and the party and all that other stuff opposed to we're going to go into his will this is what he's keep talking about. Look at this. In Matthew 23, 37, somebody asked him, what are the two great commandments? Jesus said this. Jesus said to him, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. That means if you're loving something else, your flesh, your political affiliation, your, your whatever, See, he said, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all the soul and all thy mind. And then he said, this is the first and great commandment. He said, the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the laws and the prophets of so those that are legal minded. He said, all the laws are hung on these two things, loving God and loving your fellow man. If you don't think that's right, then you go, then yeah, you, you got eternal death. And you can, I don't know what you want to do. You can, you can live the rest of your life knowing that you're going in hell. Or you can sit there and say, you know what, I guess if I can love, I guess it's not that bad to love God and love my fellow man. I guess it's okay. Because what's coming, what, that's not going to do, that's not going to hurt me to love somebody else, my fellow man. That's not going to hurt me. But what will hurt you is to hate your fellow man. Religion. Some of you probably you turned off now because it's like, well, I want I want to go by the religion. I want to go by the sin of hate you because you you know you 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 different you got different color of skin. You come from different places. You got different political affiliation. I want I want to hate that. That feel good for that. Just all that you you can tune this out all you want. As long as you understand. As long as you understand that. There's a highway to heaven and there's a highway to hell. You choose. See, I choose to do, seek to do his will. Do I make mistakes? Darn right, I make mistakes. Never said I did. But I don't practice it. I definitely don't practice hating somebody, despising somebody. I definitely don't practice going after the ungodly and trying to keep them from coming in. Well, I don't want to go in myself. Why don't we just sit there and start calling a spade a spade? If you sit there and want to hate somebody, you want to do the, the opposite of God's will, just why don't you stop lying to yourself? These are the ones I see you do. I'm, I'm just not actually saying if you do these things, we talk about corrupt fruit. See, everybody else been talking about, I'm going to come off a second, I'll come right back. Don't get me wrong. Let me just make sure as we close up. You want to know what corrupt fruit is, right? That's what you want to know. You want to know what corrupt fruit is. And I'm going to just give you some of them. But I'm going to give you the ones that start off from the beginning of his commandments to the children of Israel and now to you. Because Christ said, if you love your neighbor, you love God and love your neighbor, now all the laws and the prophets, all the things, all those two things, right? Did, I mean, even Christ said, I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I love you. That's you. Are you hearing what he's saying? But do you understand you sitting there going after somebody because of your ungodliness that they have opposed to loving them? 
Do you understand that that means you're not doing God's will? Do you understand that if somebody, regardless of whether they're black or white or they have different political affiliation and they profess Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, and he sit there and said that you're supposed to love them? He said that if all men would know you to my disciples for the, for the love you have for one another, but you want to sit there and tell, try to tell somebody, no, I don't care if you profess Christ as your Lord, I'm going to sit there and hate you. I'm not gonna believe you. I'm gonna delete. I'm gonna uh, what call it, demonize you, so that I don't need to love you. And where you find that in the Bible? You're supposed to love people. I'm talking about saying, stop. Listen, you're supposed to love people. Period. You're not supposed to hate them. You're not supposed to kill them. You're not supposed to rape them. You're not supposed to lie against. Them. You're not supposed to do that. So you are you on the highway? Are you on the highway? Are you in the camp of love or your camp of hate? Are you doing his will or you doing your will? Or your family's will or your parents' will, whatever will you think you call yourself doing. Are you doing that? It, and listen, it's not, it doesn't matter about what I think, it matters what you know. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.